Hello, welcome to episode 340. We're going to be making a moving mechanical chain decoration. Oh, how interesting. Now, we are in version 1.19.4 because we need item displays. And I'm not taking any credit for this at all because uh, Arctic Panda Pro showed me this. He had used it in a, in a map. And he had this cool chain. Let me just show you what it does. Okay, so we've got a chain that goes up chain that comes down here. I can just imagine up the top this is going around a cog and coming back down. Now what Arctic Panda Pro had used it for is at the same time that this was going up there was a door next to it and the whole door went up as well as well as the chain went up and it looked really impressive. I thought that's that's very very cool. I'm gonna have to do some sort of tutorial on that at some point. I want to use it in a map somewhere. I mean maybe it controls a drawbridge and uh, say he had a big a big wooden door that went up at the same time and it looked very effective much more interesting than just a door going up by itself if you can think of any other things to use this for you know chuck something down in the comments and uh, maybe we'll make a tutorial on it anyway i'm, I'm waffling again aren't i sorry about that let's uh, get on and make it now okay the first thing we're going to need is a timer so let's get a timer or a scoreboard objective to use as a timer this will be our setup. I done. Scoreboard objectives. Add timer dummy. Done. Make sure we run it. Now let's make a little controller. Okay, controller is obviously going to control everything. And um, we'll start by well setting it to repeat. And scoreboard players add. We'll call a fake player chain. Chain timer one. We'll add one. I want the blocks, every time this runs, I want the chain link to move up by one block. So I'll teleport at 0 0.05, so 20, so we need to run for one second. So execute if score chain timer matches one second, which would be 20 ticks. Run, scoreboard, players, reset chain timer well I spelt it right it's just got an extra space in it okay so that's going to be looping around every second now I'm going to need some coordinates so let's get some coordinates here and here we'll do let's build a fake wall okay there we go so that's going to be the top that's going to be the bottom we're going to summon one in here, let's get the coordinates here. Fill, tap, tap, tab. Control, copy. Um, execute if score. Chain timer matches one. Run, summon an item display at those coordinates I just copied. Give it some tags, tags. Now for testing purposes, I'm probably going to want to be able to delete all the chains. So I'll give them a common tag and an individual tag. So we'll call them link. And these ones will be up. And we'll need to know what item to display. Item ID count of 1B. And I want an ID of grindstone. Well, that is definitely not how you spell grindstone. What's going on there? Grindstone. Okay, I done. And I want to summon one here. I think we'll lift it up one just to make sure just to make sure we see the whole thing. Otherwise it might it might sort of blink blink appear into existence. Look a bit weird. So let's go a bit a bit higher. We'll copy these coordinates. I will control middle mouse, copy that entire block. Um we want to change the summoning coordinates to the ones we just did. Still going to have the tag link. We'll change this to a down. And it's going to have to be the same item. A done. Let's make ourselves a little, little testing, a testing kill command. Kill. Because we're going to have problems. We're going to want to make changes. So it'd be nice to be able to get rid of everything. Kill at any entity. Tag equals link. Done. Right, let's do a test. 
Okay, well they've appeared, and probably what's happening is lots are appearing, one every second. We've got one up there, yeah. The other one is probably in the ground here, yeah. Cool, let's kill them. Let's start teleporting them up. Okay, execute as any entity type equals item display tag equals up uh, at yourself run teleport yourself um, up by 0.05 I think we said extra space in there yes there is indeed okay so the up ones are going up control middle mouse and the down ones are going down you put a minus there done and did we kill them we did okay let's try this no, well, okay, all right. I don't like it when they come in. They're black. That's horrible. We don't want that. We can fix that. Problem is, it's inside the block, so it says, "Oh, if I'm inside a block, I've I've got no light shining on me." Well, we'll force you to have light shining on you. We'll do brightness, and we'll say sky fifteen, or we'll say block fifteen, and we'll copy that. Control copy and we'll copy it onto the other summon as well. Summon and then we'll do another test. 3D, clear that chat. Okay, that looks much nicer. Yeah. Cool. Right, we don't want them going on forever. So we've got to kill them when they go up too high and we've got to kill them when they go down too high. So let's just get the coordinates above this block. Fill, tap, tap, tap. Control copy. Um, <clears throat> now you could put a marker up there and say if it's within distance of the marker. I've just hard coded the coordinates. We'll do execute positioned at those coordinates. Run kill any entity whose type equals item display whose tag equals let's just say link tag equals link. But we better put a distance, otherwise it's going to kill them. And we'll say less than 0.1. Yeah, we don't put a distance, it'll kill them wherever they are. We don't want that. Done. So that's going to kill these ones when they get above that block. And we want to kill these ones when they're in this block. So let's get the coordinates here as well. Copy. Control middle mouse. And we just said link, so we don't need to change any of that. We just need to change the coordinates. Change those coordinates. Uh, done. Let's have a look. Hopefully these ones will stop. Yeah, okay. And we can probably assume that this one's working. If not, we can... Uh... There we go. They're definitely disappearing. Cool. Right, so that's good. What else do we need to add? Just add a bit of sound. Let's add some sound to it. Um, so we want to play the sound probably each time it moves up. We're not adding our own sounds because we're not using resource packs or anything. So we're going to have to use a sound from the game. So I think the grindstone is going to be the one. I think it's the default one for any sliding stones. Execute is score. Um, fake player chain. Timer matches. We'll play it at one. So each time it goes around each second. Run play sound um, block. Grindstone use played on the master channel for all play. Uh, where do we want to play it? Well, I don't want to play it here, and I don't want to play it at the player. Ideally, let's build up that wall. I want to play it just in the middle, I suppose we'll do. Let's play it at that block there in the middle. Control copy. Let's put those coordinates in there. Um, volume of one, pitch of one, minimum volume is zero. Okay, let's run that. Oh, that's not working. Okay, we need to we need to make that longer and lower the pitch. Maybe it's, it's a little bit too funny. Now, if you had your own custom sound, obviously you could make the sound exactly what you want, exactly as long as you want. You know, we don't have that luxury. We're not using resource packs. So I'm going to put 0 0.5, drop the pitch down and uh, lengthen the sound a bit. 
Now it sounds more like one continuous sound next. I can just imagine this going up around a cog and coming down. Okay. Cool. I, th I think we're pretty much done there. Let's do a bit of decoration. Just so we can see what it actually looks like. Oh, I've fallen. God, that is, those are my parkour skills. Even in creative flying mode, I can't even uh, not fall. And it's probably, I suppose, we go along there. That would be the ceiling. Okay, let's do the back. And this one. Okay, so there's our chain. How does it look? Looking all right. I tell you what, though. I don't. I want one of these. I want these ones to be upside down. They look the same, so you'd expect them to go the same way. I want to turn these round. Okay. So that's the summon the up ones. Tag up. Right. Let's give it some transformation information. Transformation. That is right. Curly brackets. Okay. We're only going to change the left rotation, but we have to put everything in. Left row. Left rotation. Just put the square brackets for now. Right rotation. Square brackets. Translation. Square brackets. Scale. Square brackets. Okay. Scale is going to be default. 1F. 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 You could play with the scale and make it into a tiny little chain if you wanted. Uh, translation, we don't want to change where it is. So, 0, 0, 0. That's default as well. Right rotation is going to be default too. And we're going to change the left rotation. Now, we're going to take away the square brackets. I'm going to use curly brackets instead. And we're going to use axis. And that's going to have an angle in radians. So, I'll pick 1.34. That will flip it 180 degrees. And then we'll have 0F, 0F, 1F. Okay. Uh, done. There we go. I tell you what. That looks pretty cool when they're joined together like that. But uh, well, if this one was flipped down, you'd have a gap in the middle. I don't know. I kind of like that, though. Hmm. Maybe we'll play with that later at some point. Maybe unless you've got any ideas, just give me a shout in the comments. Okay, I think we're done. Got these ones pointing up, these ones pointing down. There we go. There we go. Let's not waste any more of your time by waffling on. We have made a, a cool looking decorative chain that goes up and goes down the other side. A bit of, it's a bit of life for your map. I, th I kind of like it. Okay, if you've got any cool ideas that you can uh, think of that we could use this for, Okay, shout in the comments, say, hey, what about if you made it so it did something else? Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. Let me know. We'll see if we can make something. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye bye.